Okay, this is episode two of Temple OS five minute random code walkthrough with your host Terry Davis. So here we go, we're gonna hit Alt B and get some bad code, except it's not bad code. Okay, doc two plain text. <clears throat> okay, this is in the editor, the document framework, and uh if we have, uh, when we hit control T, we get plain text. Okay, so um, this, these blue entries are macros, the red entries are links. So when we say uh, macro, here's the tag, this is the tag, then it says left macro equals, that's the value of the left macro. I guess this is like a, a markup language or I don't know whatever they call those things. Anyway, uh, so uh, if, uh, let's see where we are. Okay, so um, this, the input is a document entry which is the uh, internal node for a, um, for a link or macro or something. <coughs> And the output is a uh, some text. So uh, anyway, so here's what we do: we uh, we go through all the flags, and uh, we convert the flags like LM for left macro. Um, <clears throat> so the flags, there's a flag if it has a left macro. We can look at the flags. Here's the flags. Um, so the first batch of flags is uh, tag auxiliary string define. The first batch of flags is uh, flags that cause an argument. Cause an argument. Anyway, so like left macro has an, has an argument. So um, we go through all the flags and um, each, each, uh, each entry type um, there are default flags for each entry type like a left mac like a uh, ma is macro it has a plus x exit flag it has an underline flag and it has a uh, tag flag so um what we're doing here is uh we're checking if the flag matches the default. We don't have to say plus or minus if it's a if it matches the default, but if it's different from the default, then we say plus lm or minus or something like that. You saw over here. Um, oh, we, oh, we don't do that anymore. Anyway, um, some of the flags, if we say plus b, watch this. Um, plus b. Now it has a border. That macro has a border now. So some of the flags have, <clears throat> this is saying uh, if it's not one with an argument, then um, the text we're, we're concatenating is, uh, is uh, they're not concatenating. <sighs> How is this? Oh, we are concatenating. We're concatenating what, uh, the old value of buff with the new value of buff. Um, this is map allocating a uh, a uh, string, and we're adding quote plus and then the flag value. Um, doc flag doc flags is a uh, defined list. Um, doc flags you see L M R E. So this is just the uh, that's a list of all the uh, flags. So, so we either say plus or we say minus if it, if the flag is if the flag was turned off. Anyway, so let's see um, what else we have here. Blink on the line. Okay, there's a uh, there's flags and then there's a there's a document entry type. This is um, basically more flags. Anyway, um, the type in the load eight is uh, the type whether it, the type in the low, um, 
the low 8 bits of the type type U8 is the actual uh, entry type and uh, anyway so what else are we doing uh, so after we do the flags the plus or minus flags then we go through all the arguments the flags that have arguments <coughs> and for each argument let's look at left macro see what it does um, so if it has a left macro we we concatenate um, okay so there's a comma right here um, we concatenate left macro and then we uh, this percent dollar sign Q is a percent Q which is a uh, inverse uh, printf percent Q inverts a printf string like a backslash and carriage return gets converted to backslash n quote gets converted to backslash quote the dollar sign uh, is uh, I think that makes a dollar sign a double dollar sign or something anyway so uh, after we so that's that's all we do so that's how we convert it to text <clears throat>